hello everyone welcome back in this video we will see troubleshooting ansible so uh, we will see some of the ansible commands that will help to troubleshoot the playbook whenever we uh, you know run into any issues so we have already seen you know some of these uh, ansible commands already in our previous video so during the playbook uh, you know execution we have tested uh, some of these commands so for example iphone iphone syntax check so uh, this will check the yaml syntax for the playbook so it is a good practice to run the syntax check on the, on our playbook before using it or if you are having any problem with that so you can just uh, use ansible iphone playbook followed by the playbook name and then iphone iphone syntax check so if there is any uh, syntax uh, problem in the playbook then it will display the error message okay and uh, the second one ansible playbook play.yaml which is the playbook name and followed by iphone iphone step so we can uh, use this option to step through a playbook uh, one task at a time so the ansible playbook iphone iphone step this command uh, interactively prompt for confirmation that we want each task to run so it will ask for a interactive you know prompt before it proceed to the another task so uh, the next one iphone iphone list task and then iphone iphone start at task okay so the uh, iphone iphone list iphone task uh, if we use this command then it will list all the tasks that we have written in the ansible playbook and uh, the next one iphone iphone start at iphone task equal mentioning the task name so uh, this option allows you to uh, you know start the execution of a playbook from a specific task it takes as an argument the name of the task at which to start so uh, for example if you have uh, um, many of the tasks in your playbook and you want to start the task from the particular task only and uh, in that case you can specify from which task name you want to start and then ansible playbook playbook name iphone iphone check so this will be the dry run that means uh, the playbook will be executed but it's not going to make any changes on the managed node so this will simply execute the playbook and uh, error out if there is any error and that way you can you know see whether if there is any error or it's complete successfully so uh, once you know that uh, there is no error reported you can just remove the iphone iphone check and run the playbook so that uh, the changes will be applied to the managed host and the diff command to know the changes in the playbook next uh, there are some keywords that we can use in our uh, play for example uh, check underscore mode colon yes if we set this yes that means uh, the playbook will always run in the dry mode i mean the dry run mode so that we don't need to specify the iphone iphone check or iphone capital c during the playbook run and if we mention change to when colon yes that means uh, if any changes occurs in the task it will show the changed word and yellow color if you mention no it will show in green color as item potent and some other debugging uh, options would be using iphone v and uh, this will output data is displayed and uh, iphone iphone v 
so uh, both the output and input data are displayed if you are using uh, three times v then it will include the information about connections to the managed host and uh, if you are adding uh, one more v then it will include additional information such as the script that are executed on each remote host and uh, the user that is executing each script and uh, we have also seen register a uh, variable which is one of the variable to store the task information and uh, we can also use the debug uh, option in the playbook okay so that's it uh, in this video and i'll see you in the next thank you